Welcome back to Street 48. I hope by now you've caught up with part one of our European road trip. If you haven't, I'll put a link up here. Go check it out. Yes. <laughs> so in part one, we showed you how we drove in from London into Rome. Now in this part, we're going to be driving from Rome into Sorrento, Italy. Let's go. So if you don't know, Sorrento is a town in southern Italy. It looks over the Bay of Naples and it's a very beautiful, chilled and relaxed place to be. So Sorrento is very famous for its lemons. They have, you know, lemon merchandise. This is what we bought. <laughs> we bought this for the bread. Um, there's another funny thing about this bread. It looks very nice though, yeah, and then it's so useful. But I remember when we were going to buy it. Yeah. You said it's so ugly that what what you going to buy and look, this looks so pretty. I, I just thought it was for like older people, but <laughs> no, it looks nice. That's what it's, it's a whole. You know, I had a whole street just you know full of lemon merchandise and stuff like yeah. that, and then like. <sighs> <laughs> Driving to Sorrento was actually amazing for me. It was because of the views, right? Yeah. Yeah, the views were made when we were driving down from Rome into Sorrento. Uh, it was a three, four hour drive, I believe another 170 miles, 180 miles from Rome. So we left early in the morning. We left around six, seven in the morning. Mm. We checked out and then we were on the way because obviously we wanted to get there, uh, you know, in time. We were staying there for uh, three days. Sorry, not three days, two days, right? two days yeah so we were staying there for two days we don't we don't want to waste the time so we wanted to get there on time and just you know explore the city or town as it is sorrento so yeah on the way like you said when we were driving there the landscape was just amazing you know so it was very scenic you know the three four hour drive uh, it, it did take us that long if not a little bit more than that because of traffic and secondly we kept stopping on the way it was very beautiful you know to take photos and you know where you drive in there's a massive road it's like a bridge i think and it you know hovers over the over the start of the town i believe and then you drive into the town of sorrento now that drive i think it's like 10 15 minute on that mm -hmm. road so we're driving along that road, very beautiful road. Like I said, there was mountains and in front of the mountains, there was these little buildings. That... Getting close to Sorrento, the bypass started declining. And obviously we were going into the actual town now. Uh, and then just before we did that, we pulled over and you could see this. You remember that landscape? The whole, the the whole, whole of, of Sorrento. Sorrento beautiful. One of the most yes. beautiful scenic views. We weren't expecting it. We just pulled up and um, we didn't know if we could pull up there. We did pull up. You, and, you couldn't. Yeah, but. You're not allowed, but you did. You need to do it for yeah. the Always amazing tour. break. <laughs> the lord i don't know what you're talking about That's Daniel. Cut, cut, cut. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah we stopped there for a few minutes took some amazing photos you know the back you know the background like i said was amazing it was like a painting yeah after and then, a long drive and you can yeah, see after that such thing is all worth it yeah it was worth it we, we were starting to see that yes it's worth it now we, we're finally getting into it and mind you it wasn't our last destination you know our main destination was positano uh but obviously later on like you will see uh sorrento could have been a main destination that's how amazing it was we had booked a hotel in the main area of Sorrento. Yeah, it's like the, in in the city, middle of the city, yeah, it was a perfect city. place. The hotels there are not very big; they don't look that luxurious. Because uh, if you look at the city, even the roads are very small. There's no parking yeah. like that, and everything yeah, just the congested. City is so small. Yeah, so small. And then um, town, sorry, not city, town. And then uh, you know that hotel offered us a valet service. <laughs> and um <laughs> yeah. i wasn't too basically i said okay the guy came and i said you know i'd rather drive my car there because i could see how small the roads and stuff mm. were and the parking wasn't good um so the guy came i said i'll drive my car there he sat behind me i got to the parking right the way you had to get into the parking now the mercedes if you know the mercedes e-class is quite a big car right it's quite large yeah. and you know it I'm quite comfortable driving my cars. I don't have, you know, I'm quite confident driving. But going down that road, I felt like either my tire's going to scrape or something's going to hit. And then, you know, I did get down there. No problem for me. But I thought <laughs> I thought if he was to valet park my car then, he was to basically, if you wanted to drive somewhere, they would bring your, bring your car out for yeah, you. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's not that close to the hotel. It's not close. It's about, I think, seven to ten minute drive from the hotel. Drive, Think about yeah, it. Because yeah, there's no parking in that, in that yeah. center of that town. And then, um... Yeah, so I said, uh, when, I, when I got down there, you know, I wasn't too comfortable with him or anyone else, you know, just like pulling out my car in and out of that valet parking and the valet parking. And then I said to him, you know what, um, uh, we want to drive the car out a little bit. <laughs> and then I said, we need to go, you know, shop for a few things. So we will bring the car back later on. Mm. And what happened? We never came back. <laughs> we never <laughs> came back to the valet park. You know, we, we spoke to the hotel guy. I said, look, man, I'm not too comfortable parking in that parking or anyone else, for you know, for that matter. So I found an underground secure parking where we left the car for two days. It, it was more secure. It wasn't 100%, it wasn't but it was more yeah. secure. How much was it? It was quite expensive. Parking yeah. was quite expensive. I think I for the night was £30. Yeah, 
no euros. more than that more than that i remember it's 40 pound euros but yeah, 40 euros. Yeah, it was like 40 euros for the night or something. If you park per in, night. It's, but you'll be once in, in, in our part three when we get to Positano, you'll be surprised, you know, how you know expensive parkings can get. But that's when we get to that. So subscribe. You know, part three is coming next. Positano. Subscribe. subscribe. Don't forget. <laughs> Don't forget. So uh <laughs> yeah, we left the car there. We didn't really drive. It was good, you know. Normally I like driving to places we're there. We just, you know, we were on our feet, we were walking through the town and everything, and we did go up, uh, we did go and check up on the car every now and then. Yeah. So I wanted to be sure, but you know one thing, I, you know I've uh, obviously this is, everyone's different, but there was that one Italian guy that he worked at um, the parking spot. You remember, the most yeah. unhelpful gentleman ever. You know, if I could, yeah. Um, oh yeah, you I know remember. what I'm talking about. Yeah. Just like you know, one thing I noticed, you know, the Italian culture is very nice. You know, when they go hotels and stuff, it's very friendly and you know, you know, mm. quite nice. Especially restaurant. Yeah, restaurant stuff like you know the so stuff friendly. very professional and friendly. Yeah. But there's some individuals, I don't know why it is, I'm not stereotyping, right? That's what I encountered. I've been to Italy before as well. And then, you know, he was just, I asked him, I'm telling him, he did understand a little bit of English, right? And I've, I've told him, I need to park my car, how to get here, you know, asking about who to pay, how to get in. And then he was just like, you know, the way he was staring back at me, you know, I wanted to... <laughs> this is your personal but, thing, right? <laughs> um, but it was just very unhealthy. It was being rude, you know. And then I don't appreciate someone being rude when I was actually being quite, you know, f uh, like you know, upfront and all, like friendly with him. And then, but anyway, so we did end up. We, we found out information. You know, I can't remember how we found out. But we managed to park the car there, and then we were in Sorrento. Yeah, for two days. Two days. So before we talk to you more about Sorrento, the actual town, I'm going to show you a minute long video which I edited myself. Now, if the song is still on there, you know, the, the background music that I put on there, you know, that that's great. But if I do get done for copyright, then, I'm, you know, it's going to have a different kind of song. And it's not my editing. My editing mm. is great. It's just, I'm just, gonna, <laughs> I'm just going to have to overlay with another song. So, uh, yeah, go check out this video. very nice vibe the weather was amazing as well like i said it's september 2020 still during covid time but that was a time when you could travel to italy is one of those code of free countries uh, and that's why we traveled there you wouldn't expect it because you remember um, both uk and italy were you know on the top competing with <laughs> italy uk and, and usa they were competing you know at the, at the they number the one two, yeah at, at the top and then but the way the uk wasn't able to control it right america kind of did but uh, mm, you know italy, america's no no nah, no nah, i didn't then i guess but italy really did control their cases you know the fact they you know the the way their cases went up and they controlled it and the reason you could see that even when we went restaurant it's called the piazzo tasso it's a very famous square it's the call it the coffee square or cafe square yeah, something like that the mid, i think that is the middle of the town yes yeah, middle of the town and you can get it's not just you know just coffee uh you there's some brilliant outdoor restaurants pizza pasta cafes cafes ice cream ice creams yeah all of that stuff so um we went there for our lunch and we ordered, you know, pizza and pasta, all of that is Italian. You, you like yeah. that food as well, right? Yeah, seafood, I like Italian seafood, food. Seafood, pasta and all that stuff. Anyway. The food was really nice. We see the way Italians, you know, cook pizza. That's their forte. So obviously they're doing, you know, the best job out there. Pasta. Pasta. No one can beat. <laughs> yeah, pasta was so nice as well. <laughs> I didn't try it, but I guess it was nice. I could tell. I could tell from my reaction, it was nice. So, the like I said, the you know the staff and stuff were very friendly. The cutlery came wrapped. The plates came wrapped. I think, and you know, very like everything you could tell was you know, looked after very carefully due to the whole. Yeah, and they situation. were wearing masks as well. Yeah, they were wearing masks. You know, <laughs> you don't see that here, right? Remember when Boris yeah. opened up uh, help to eat, and then but at that time people were not really following the whole mm. you know wear the mask and stuff like that but over there they were very strict on it um they put their mask on there yeah yeah so that's so shame like, maybe it's, yeah maybe it's, it's, a, it's like a 
Trying Everyone's doing that. Basically, you used to get the face mask, yeah. right? And roll it up on their sleeve and put it here around their elbow. Yeah. And everyone's doing that. Yeah, um, I think this kind of like help you not to forget it. Yeah, exactly. You remember this on your elbow, but it's good at the same time. Yeah. So, you know, we had a nice lunch there. We walked around. We also, you know, stopped for some nice cold ice cream. You yeah, love that, that right? Yeah, that was the base mango ice cream <laughs> for me, like, ever. Yeah, and then um, I got chocolate. <laughs> always chocolate like, but the chocolate always. was really nice as well and then but you know where all of this you know the town the way it's located and stuff is very scenic very beautiful you can see uh just behind you know where they were selling ice cream and all that stuff you remember there was that drop and then that beautiful road coming up and down between the two cut mountains yeah yeah it was, and then behind that obviously was uh the you know beach. the coast the beach and yeah. everything it was very beautiful you know sorrento is very famous for their lemons um you know they were selling a lot of merchandise and stuff like that with the lemon livery and stuff and um uh, i've heard and i've seen as well in in sorrento especially those lemons come back from the 14th or 15th century they're very uh, pure in their taste and you can just see people eating them fresh with sugar and stuff another amazing part was the street market remember we walked through it that we walked uh, through and let's say very yeah, narrow yeah, yeah, yeah. It's it's very a, beautiful yeah very beautiful it felt like um it had that turkey mixed with um, yeah, dubai kind of mixed like with thailand it's it like looked like ancient like kind yeah it was, it was like yeah like, yeah, 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 exactly. Like old buildings. The way it was laid, it was very, it was very scenic. You know, it was very beautiful, and the sun was shining. I remember the weather was great. That street that we're talking about, where they were selling different things in the market, was you know just behind the hotel that we had booked. So we could literally just come out whenever we wanted and just walk through it. It took maybe how long to walk from one end to the other, like ten minutes. Mm, yeah, maybe. To walk from one from from one end to the other end, and then on the way, you know, they had little food shops and they were selling what kind of stuff they were selling souvenirs and. Yeah, souvenir, most of most of them are souvenirs. Souvenirs and their clothing, shoes and things like that. But the whole vibe just fitted in very nicely. So we were in Sorrento for two days, and we actually bought the tickets to Capri. Yeah, yeah we were we were planning to go to Capri as well, but we missed the first boat. Yeah, we missed the first boat, and then that was the last boat of the day, right? No, that was the one before the last. That was the one before the last. But the reason we didn't go on that one is because uh, if we went to Capri on that one, we would have only had like an hour or mm -hmm. less than an hour. Yeah. And then um, an there was no point. We would have wasted our day in Sorrento. So we just decided to, you know, just explore. Did you like the beach? Mm, not really. <laughs> <laughs> Straight up, not really. Mm -hmm. I think it was okay. It was good. It's not. It, it didn't. It's not. I think it's more so the coast vibe, not the beach vibe. Uh, yeah, it's not the kind of beach that you can like go, like swim. Yeah, yeah, it's not like that. We'll, sh we'll show you anyway, but it was okay. It fitted the whole kind of fitted the vibe. It's not really a you know a tropical island kind of place, but uh, it was okay. Yeah, it's okay. It it's okay. better than here in 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 Brighton or something. Yeah, it's like better that. than here definitely. But like I said, not not that good. In order for us to get to the beach, we actually came down, you know, the mountain a long way. Yeah, we had to use the stairs. Yeah, we had to use a lot of stairs, right? By the time we got down, we obviously, you know, missed. we had missed the ferry. We didn't want to take the last ferry or whatever. Uh, we spent some time down there just looking at the beach. There's a few shops. Yeah, you know why um, we missed the ferry? Why? We stopped to take a lot of yeah, photos. Yeah, a lot like, of photos. <laughs> up here, we take a photo of me, take a photo of you. <laughs> I'm, I'm, I'm more glad we got the photos than we went to Capri because photos, you know, if we didn't have photos, we wouldn't be sitting here making this video. We have no memories. Disagree. No, can't really disagree, mate. Anyway, mm. but there's always another time, you know, someday when we. <laughs> but there's always another time, someday when we find ourselves again in the southern, you know, Italy part of the region, then we definitely go into Capri. What was I trying to book? I was trying to book a jet ski or something. Not jet ski. What was it? They had something. We remember that, but the office was closed. It's a private boat oh yeah we tried booking a private boat but all the offices were closed yeah, there was no see one the in sunset. there yeah see the sunset just got them uh go out there ourselves and then uh no one was answering they, they had little cabins and stuff but no one was in there so we decided to go back up get something to eat and we were not gonna walk back you know it was very hot and we walked down a lot of stairs yeah so we got the bus we got the bus. Oh yeah, we got the bus. I we forgot the bus. about this. <laughs> There's actually so strange. The strange thing about Sorrento and Positano, you'll see in, in, in the next part, is the roads are very small, right? The roads are very small. If you go there from other European countries, you wouldn't think these are the kind of roads where they mm. would be driving cars and buses. But they managed to fit buses, bigger cars and stuff. They managed to, you know, drive through them. It's and like, they drive quite fast. Yeah, they <laughs> drive quite, quite a thing to see the way they drive around there. So just as well as the day vibe you have in Sorrento, you know, the beautiful, you know, chilled vibe that you have. Uh, at the night time is even better. The high street at night looks so pretty. 
all the shops open until late at night and they got their own lighting they got their own stuff to sell and all of that made me feel like alive yeah it was very nice the the weather and stuff at night is also very amazing mm -hmm. it's still warm uh you know there's there's tourists that not that many tourists because i think if you would have gone you know during normal time when there was no covid there would be more tourists but it's a very relaxed vibe like you said shots are still open yeah remember what you got from high street at night Fries? Yeah, that cheesy fry. Oh, Not cheesy. Days. I didn't get cheese on it. Yeah, you just you got like cheese it. on it. Maybe I don't know. No, I didn't get it. You got I didn't it. Didn't get it. Yeah, but I was. Uh, I'll put it. I'll put in some photos, obviously. But those were, you know, in that vibe. Sometimes the food isn't that good, but in that vibe, it just feels like you know the Ooh. best tasting fries I had. <laughs> we remember. <laughs> we remember. Uh, this is funny thing. That's the day. Uh, I think we were talking about earlier that day, right? We we went there. And we had the pizza and everything at that outdoor restaurant. We just had pizza and stuff, and we were going back. And I think in like about half an hour later. I saw that shop which was selling the you know the the cooked fries, so I grabbed you know um, you know a portion of fries and we're walking back down again and the guy and we were walking past the restaurant again and the guys just looking at us they just had they just had lunch and then they got another portion of fries yeah. and then, um, but yeah it was just there exploring exploring the food as well. You, you didn't want to walk that way because you didn't want him to see yeah, you like no. oh you just ate and then you just like eating again. Yeah or maybe think like oh we didn't like the food and stuff but I was. Uh, yeah, it was quite a chilled vibe. And then even the view from our hotel, you could see the whole high street at night. From the hotel window, you could see the Bell, the Bell, Bell building. Bell building, yeah. yeah it's, that. It's, like a, it's like a very smaller version of Big Ben. <laughs> like, like, ding, da, yeah. Da. yeah, from our hotel, you could see that Bell building. And then besides that was the high street. Uh, looked very nice. And then behind that in the distance, you could see all the mountains. Uh, it was, you know, very nice, amazing chilled vibe. You know, even at night time, we didn't sleep until late. You know, we went out for a walk and stuff, and there were still people out there, you know, eating, talking, sitting down in the restaurants. Uh, it, it kind of felt like we were past that whole COVID thing. But obviously, coming back to the UK, and then we re realized, like, you know, we we're much deeper than it actually yeah. was before. So, like I said, we were in Sorrento for two days and really enjoyed that time. It's, it's another amazing town in the south of Italy. So, we go to sleep, we wake up, and then. It's a time to go further. Positano. Positano. Tano. Our main destination. <clears throat> main destination, an amazing one at that. So uh, we got up in the morning, we went and got the car, drove back, we parked on the high street. You're not allowed to park there. I had the police guy come up to me, said, don't park here. As soon as he went around the corner, <laughs> we left the car there. Yeah. <laughs> went into the hotel, grabbed the bags and stuff, checked out. Uh, the staff was very friendly. And then before we went, I went and grabbed another portion of fries. Not <laughs> just fries. Not just fries, got more food as well. Nugget. Nuggets. <laughs> uh, just a breakfast, no? Yeah, just breakfast. <laughs> we were in the car now, we had our bags, we had the food, and we were heading out of Sorrento now, saying goodbye to Sorrento because we had a really, really amazing and pleasant time there. The day was still amazing, it was quite early on in the day, so we left Sorrento and we were headed towards Positano. Now, for that, you're going to have to wait until next week. So hit the subscribe button because we will release part three, which is specifically about the amazing town of Positano. If you enjoyed the video, please like and subscribe. Yep, yeah, it really help us out and bring out more content to you. So thank you very much for watching. See you next week. Until then, logging out. Bye-bye.